none of us really were bad people. We were just raised in environments and in communities where our family didn't have the economic means to live in Beverly Hills. So what happened, we became products of those environments, from drugs to the dealers to whatever that was. We wanted to be the best at what we could. I never was a bad person. But when it came down to banging, I was one of the best at it. One of my friends was named Bear. We was playing, and Chris pulled up on the side of us. They shot little Bear's head off. Man, they just killed my brother. You know, I had to just sit up and look at a homeboy holding his son in his arms. The problem is so real, families are being decimated. Blacks started killing blacks at an alarming rate. Most of the guys that I grew up with are either dead or in jail. I always assumed things would always get worse. And you know why I thought so? Because it always did. Every year we would have more murders. Every year gang crime would get worse. Kids grow up from the time that they can remember until they're adults that have never crossed the street that's right down the street from them. It's shocking to imagine that, but that's a place they just don't go. In Los Angeles, you have borders, lines of a community area where you can't go. And that border might be a mile radius. It might be less than that. It might be only a block. So when you're trying to go to a store, grocery market, or go anywhere else, and to go through there, you're risking your life. It's enough of that. It's time for that to change. My name's Jamal Neal. I just turned 14 Friday. I go to Perry Middle School. I love sports and school. I just want to work hard and get to college. Jamal is a football player of mine that I've coached for the last four seasons. The area he lives in, it's a high gang populated area, drug trafficking and lots of random shootings. Helicopters all night, police. See, I just ignore it all. I just worry about what I need to get done to make it where I want to be. These kids don't get to be kids because you're so busy trying to protect yourself from your environment. You never get to know who you really are because you have a stigma, I have to be tough, I have to be strong, I have to walk this way or dress this way to not be harassed. Been fighting for six months trying to find a job, couldn't find a job, and he took me into, in, into the back room and said, see, there's my girl and my baby sleeping. So what am I supposed to do? I can't find a job. Nobody will hire me. I'll do anything to, to work. And, and, and it hit me like, he's right. Well, what, would it, what would a man do? A lot of us didn't care. We, we, had, we had nothing. So we did what we had to do to survive. Most of us joined gangs because that's the community we grew up in, and it was much like a family. And as the time went on, it kind of got out of hand. I know exactly what it's like to grow up poor. I know what it's like to live in fear. And um, I know what it's like to pick up a gun and try to gain some sense of control. I was actually going to the violent calls, going to the dead bodies, going to the shooting calls watching the mothers cry, and it just crystallized in me, man. I just became a very unhappy, very distraught police officer at that time. And my mission was to go out there and take care of the gangs, and I did. When I was a gang officer, the, you know, police were the only solution. You know, I say that, you know, with the tin of sarcasm, because when we were the only solution, the problem just got worse and worse and worse. It's enough, I mean, Murder after murder, killing after killing, it's too much. The mothers out there still weeping right now today. You know, it's, it's time for it to stop. And I believe that's why we all here. A, a Better LA was an organization that, to try and bring hope to the communities. We started to create a conversation with people who had never talked to one another. It just started with a, with a dialogue. We started creating a common language that became very powerful. I guess the one thing that I would like for someone to be able to say about me when that time comes is that I was man enough to stand up for change. The building of this, of this, this mutual compact to, to care for each other uh, is what a better LA is all about. Law enforcement had to have a partnership with the community and suggest ways to make things better without using police as the cornerstone of the success. I was actually directed by the sheriff to work with former gang members to do community transformation. Chief Beck asked me to come in and go out there and become friends with the gang members. I thought he had lost his mind. 
a lot of the homies was like, man, you know, y'all sure that, that this is all right? This is totally against what we grew up believing in. We were once the problems in our communities. So now what we're doing is we're trying to give back and be part of the solution to help build our communities back up. These guys depend on each other for their success. Former gang members getting together. All our differences are well behind us, and we work together to bridge the gap and all the way from one end to the city to the next. We know how to deal with violence as it comes. We know how to deal with rumors as they come. After events that took place where there was a shooting or some kind of, a, some kind of an issue, they could head off uh, retaliations. They would know where to go, how to connect with the family, how to just quiet things down. I can call on him, I can call on him, I can call on him at any given time, for any given thing. I has destroyed us. We have brought us together. And it's, it's keeping our communities tight to have guys like us come together. The rest of the community see this, and it makes the rest of the community want it, to be a part of it. And that's what's so special about this. As a matter of fact, we're all from all different gangs. So it's a collaboration of many different neighborhoods. And I started to talk to you guys, and I realized that you guys really, really wanted to make that change. And it helped me make my change. And doing this work, it's, it's not an easy job. You always walk in that fine line. And you have to be mindful of that. You have to, because if not, it could stop your life just like that. But it's, it's saving lives worth that risk. And, and I think you gotta say yes. Tremendous, tremendous power for me as a police officer to now go to these same individuals that I was beaten down or putting in jail to say, I, I'm here to help you. And I believe a better LA is the solution to um, connecting all those little dots and making a difference in our community. 1992, we had 1,013 murders in the city of Los Angeles. You fast forward it from the time Better LA started to now, we have less than 300 a year. Since uh, Better LA, we have cut gang crime in half. That was the defining moment when I recognized that what we were doing actually worked. I get calls from these guys now. We talk about community development. We talk about, you know, trying to do the right thing. Well, this is a movement now, man. And it's something that we always say, the train is moving. Either you get on it now, while it's at a slow pace, or when it pick up, all you can do is sit by and watch it. It's just not okay that kids don't get to live a regular life. So what we do tell the kids is, whatever you want to do or be, if you live it, breathe it, think it, believe it, it will happen. I want to be an artist. I want to be a doctor. I want to be LAPD. Sometimes it makes you just want to give up and be like everybody else. But all the hard work you did, staying focused, it'll work off for you in the future. We, we start everything by creating vision and then staying in connection with it until we create the change that we want. And that's what was going to have to happen. And that only happens one person at a time. It's my daughter. And because I changed my ways, she couldn't believe. Sometimes I take her places and I say, baby, I really never been here before. We ride our bikes miles now and go places and do stuff. And I take her through different used to be rival neighborhoods. Before I started coming here, I was just roaming the streets every day. Break the pond. Don't be Rose shy. Roses are red, the sky is blue, change is green. Can we change you? Change us, what are we about? Change us, why, of course. We are changing the way your kids are in our environment, keeping them away from gangs and drugs. Would you mind helping us change the world little by little? I don't know. I just like felt like writing. So that's what I wrote because I was here. We all have to live here. We're all being brought up. And either we bring them brought up in this bunch or this bunch. The ones that's going to do something or the ones going to destroy something. So I want to be a part of making sure that these kids have an option to choose which bunch they want to be a part of. What do they want? They want all the things that you want, you know, for your community and your family. They want the same thing. Kids are normal. They're not looking for problems. They're not looking for trouble. They're just trying to make it and just trying to get by. Well, the youngsters in the streets, they look to us. They always have looked to us even when we were involved. And now they look at us in a different light. We try to teach the children how to not fear the color of one's skin or, or the way they talk or the language that they use. These are ex-gang members. They've been through that struggle. Now they can go back to these kids and show them a better way and let them know 
And the reason they can do that is because they went through this struggle. It's more outside of this little bitty community that you call your hood. There's a whole lot more to this world than just this block. One of the things that I want most for the city is for it to believe in itself, to care for each other uh, is what a better LA is all about, that we can make this a better place to live by all of us focusing on those that need the most help. We need you. We need you to help us. We need you to join in and just do whatever you can do, bring whatever you can bring to, to help us make these communities safer and give kids a chance to have the life that they deserve because they followed me to the trenches. They followed me to the guns. They followed me in the cars to go do stuff. Now follow me to where we're going. We're going to a better plateau. We're going to a better LA.